Hi, my name's Jen and this is how I am curing my emetophobia with the Thrive program. Um, I would say I'm probably 75% of the way there now. Um, I still have a few locus control questions to work on and a few avoidance behaviours that I do, um, but I'm working on them. Uh, I first realised I had emetophobia probably when I was about 16. Um, when I was 14, I'd been sick in the middle of the night and I refused to go back to sleep. I was taken to a psychologist and they told me I had OCD because I had compulsions and obsessions. Um, but it wasn't until I was about 16 and I went online that I realised all my compulsions were to do with being sick. I was afraid of germs simply that they'll make me sick. Um, and I discovered what emetophobia was. Uh, the doctors had no idea. So for, fast forward to last year. Um, I was 29 and I probably had one of the worst episodes of my emetophobia that I've had in a long time. I couldn't go to work. I was definitely housebound um, and even when I was at home all I wanted to do was sleep because then I couldn't feel sick. I do have a, a hiatus hernia and acid reflux disease which means I do feel sick a lot. Um, so. I just couldn't cope. I found out about the Thrive program on a emetophobia forum, which I don't use anymore, and they suggested I try it, considering I'm in the UK and Rob Kelly's in the UK. So I went on the site and I arranged some consultations with Lucy Williamson. I worked through the book and I was able to cure my depression that I was suffering with um, and by January of this year, I was back at work and able to cope. Um, I was still feeling sick every day, and I still do now. Um, and for a long time, I didn't realise I was curing my emetophobia because I would still feel slightly anxious about feeling sick. It wasn't until I realised that someone without emetophobia would feel slightly anxious as well, but it was the fact that I wasn't spending 99% of my time worrying about feeling sick and finding ways to avoid it. Um, it was also when I realised that I had secondary control um, and that I could cope with feeling sick and that it wasn't the end of the world um, that I realised I was on my way to being cured. Um, now and again I'll, I will still start to go down the spiral of panicking so I was on a train to London yesterday and I caught myself I was feeling sick because it was first thing in the morning which I often do with my my um, stomach issues and I had to actually stop myself making it worse um, I tend what I previously would have done is think oh I'm going to be sick because I'm on a train and then I would have made myself feel more and more sick Whereas what I've learnt from Thrive is that I'm making that nausea worse than it really is. It's just a, a nuisance. Um, it doesn't make me sick. And even if it did, I would cope. So that is why I believe I'm cured. Um, I think my husband, who very much does not suffer from the metaphobia, would also feel a tiny bit anxious being on the train feeling sick surrounded by people. So I have notes up around my house, um, just guidance of what I should be doing with Thrive, um, and the one I use most is Tolerate. It's just to remind me that when I'm feeling a bit sick or other issues, even like headaches and stuff, that I might not like it, but I can tolerate it, I can cope, I have the secondary control. Um, and I've also learnt that although I might have um, acid reflux, gas gastroesophagus reflux disease that it doesn't control me I'd let it control me um, but because my locus of control is more internal now I know it's just something that I have that I can cope with but it doesn't control my life and that is the same with the emetophobia um, yes I will feel sick but it's not it's not going to control my life it's not going to stop me living um, people with much worse diseases carry on living, um, so why should I let it stop me?
So the reason I would say I'm only 75-80% cured is I do still do a lot of safety seeking behaviours um, and I've still got I think about 8 um, locus control questions that I need to work on um, but I'm doing that every day um, and trying my best to work on the avoidance behaviours. I do still have a few perfectionist traits but I'll remind myself when I'm doing them that I shouldn't be. The <laughs> um, biggest thing I find is telling myself off. I do that a lot. But I have to then remind myself that it's not my fault I've slipped up or dropped the cat's water on the floor. doesn't mean I'm an idiot or stupid woman, as I tend to say. Um, no, people make mistakes. So it's been a year since I started the Thrive Programme. Um, and I wanted to make this to reach out to those that have read it once and haven't cured themselves. Um, it is still possible. I have read it three times and it was probably the third time that I finally worked out what I need to do. Um, the first time it cured my depression. But I was so deep in that depression that I don't think I was able to concentrate properly on working on the emetophobia. The second time, I didn't put enough effort into it. So as it says in the programme, um, it's pace, persistent and continuous effort. And I just didn't put that in. So the third time, I was determined and I put that in. And that really made the difference. As I said before, I know I have secondary control. Now and again, my desire for control rears its ugly head. It's been a big part of my life wanting to control everything. And I didn't really realise how much other traits that I have tied into the emetophobia until I read the Thrive book. But when I do feel this desire for control, when I'm having an acid reflux attack and I just have this strong urge to make myself better right there and then, um, I remind myself that Thrive has taught me the skills I need to cope, that I have the secondary control, and that it doesn't rule my life. So yeah, I, I would urge anyone suffering with emetophobia to get the Thrive book, to go through it with a consultant if you can, because it just changes your life. Um, I do actually tell my husband who has other issues going on, so he'll get depressed now and again. I do tell him certain bits of drive that I know will help him. So it's not just applicable to a metaphobia, it can work with anything, I would say. So, yeah, give it a go.